I too am glad to be able to say a few couple of folks are on a scale, Shin. I, look, I think it's uh, the people of Northern Ireland are quite bewildered. They went to the polls some couple of weeks ago, and I met some of them actually at the flag hole uh, to put on uh, two weekends ago. And they said, why did they get up and go vote? And, and, and they voted nationalists. And uh, to, to think that we have the, that the assembly is not sitting. So there's more than there is the MSTI and the whole clamour around the border poll. Look, I'm well known as being a Republican. My late dad fought in the War of Independence, and he spent some time, a uh, good point of time in prison, and suffered, as many people did. I'm not saying many monopoly in that. But I do think that, that the statements, uh, you know, and even on the night uh, of the election, uh, I think Deputy MacDonald said, we have to have a border poll faster than we think. We have to make haste slowly here, because we must bring the people with us. In Africa, and we can't have that, you know, we had it for long enough in transitions from the union side. Now we see there is Brexit. And some people <laughs> seem not registered that Brexit happened. The sovereign people voted to leave the EU. And I remember uh, attending late night meetings here in government buildings as leader of our group here with the Tarnished and, and then Taoiseach Leo Varadkar, our Deputy Varadkar. And like, we asked about the borders, and they were going to know hard borders. And I remember asking the question what about the hard border that's between Bosnia Herzegovina and Croatia, which I go through on a regular basis, I used to. And I said, we kind of put our heads in the sand and said, no, this won't happen. And he told me it might be in Bali, it might be someplace else. But nonetheless, these are the problems, and there's huge problems. And Minister of State, uh, B uh, B Dr. Byrne, knows this. There's huge problems with industry, with imports, exports, and there's huge issues to be dealt with here. But this last, um, this latest um, um, uh, stalemate and you know, uh, crash landing, I suppose, really, and the damage to the Good Friday, uh, that may be caused to the Good Friday Agreement. So I see what the architects of that, the late uh, Deputy Martin McGuinness, uh, Martin Manser, a former colleague of mine, Federale, late Federale Swede from, Tipper, uh, from Nina, Enoch and Tipper Dorn, and many people that gave their, uh, gave, they worked very hard to get that good. And indeed, uh, the, the, the late uh, Dr. Paisley and, and, and uh, with Martin McGuinness, they got together. So look, we all have to get together, but we have to do it in the spirit of the mehel, in the spirit of forgiveness, and in the spirit of, um, of trust. And respect. I too, certainly, and I knew, um, or my family knew, um, um, one of the killed in Auckland Clyde, the name just eludes me at the moment. I walked through my, my brother in laws. So there needs to be, we can't just wash all those away either. Uh, we can't, uh, Aidan McInnesby, we can't um, just forget uh, the past and have a big cloak put down over. So there needs to be a reconciliation, but there needs to be obviously a lot of uh, counselling and, 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 and research and respect of engagement and listening to the people that were involved and try and the impasse and, and move forward here because uh, the institutions have been, have been closed down in our land is to nobody's benefit and above all the electors will go very tired of that very soon because and some other people have mentioned why would the MLAs be getting paid and they were, it's a valid question Kermak. if they're not going to sit. Kermak. 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 Kermak.